Uh, good morning. Uh, it's a little after 6 a.m. and we're trying the crock pot out today. So what I did yesterday was I bagged up and cut up everything that I needed to do a pot roast. Today we've got the pot roast put into the crock pot and I'll show you that here in just one second. Okay, here is the crock pot. It's a, it's a Road Pro. It works uh, off of a 9 or 12 volt uh, plug-in in the truck here. And I put a bag in. Now my meat is down at the bottom and we've got uh, cut up carrots, uh, well, baby carrots, cut up onion, and a couple of little small red potatoes. Now it's got this little strap that uh, holds the lid on and I'm going to set this on my floor up front and plug it in and we're going to see how this goes over the course of the day. It's got water in it and I seasoned it. I shouldn't have to do anything else to it until it's ready to eat sometime this evening. So stay with me and we'll check on it in a, in a couple of hours. All right, so there's the crock pot. It's sitting there on the floor. Uh, we've got it plugged into the dashboard here. And right here, oh, well, that's a good sign. It's got uh, a red light on it. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little red light right here. Uh, so we've got power to it, and it's turned on. So, okay, we'll check back and uh, see how this goes today. Okay, so we're about an hour and a half or so into the cook. I don't know if you can see, but there's a lot of condensation on that lid. It's got plenty of heat. It seems to, to be doing real well. It's been very steady and stable in the truck as I've driven down the road. Uh, I haven't hit any big bumps or anything, but the normal road bumps haven't seemed to have disturbed it at all. Uh, it's gotten nice and hot and it's starting to smell good. So uh, that, that's the check in for now and we'll uh, we'll come back to this pretty soon a couple more hours and see how we're doing then. Okay, well we've stopped uh, for the day and uh, I've, I've moved operations to the back. We've got the crock pot back here now and in just a minute I'm going to open it up and we're going to take a peek inside and give it a little stir. But I've got to tell you, the smell coming from this crock pot is insanely good and everybody who likes to eat would be starving right now. And that's me because I'm right now starving about half to death and I've still got several hours left on this cook. So in a minute we'll open it up here and uh, see how it looks inside and give it a little stir. Uh, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, we've got the lid off of this now. And look at that. Oh, it just looks wonderful so far. I'm going to give it a little stir here. Just to, to kind of make sure uh, everything's getting in there and soaked real good. And getting all that flavor and the juice and the broth. I might have put a little too much water in. But... Boy, it sure smells good. Alright, so we're going to put the lid back on it. Another little look here. Man, that's looking good. Oh, we're going to put the lid back on it and uh, let it continue to cook for a few more hours. Okay, so the crock pot is still bubbling away, but I thought you might like to see what I started with this morning. After I stopped at Walmart and did my shopping the other day, I put everything I would need for for my pot roast uh, into a baggie. Now, in the, in the main baggie here, this one right here, that one, I put two chuck steaks because they're small and they would fit into the into the crock pot. Now, inside this baggie I have another baggie, and in there is uh, some carrots, uh, chopped up onion, and some potatoes. And those are the things that I've used 
to to put this roast together now this morning when I got up I took this package well not this one but I took the other one that I had that was just like it and I assembled my roast over here and put it together it took all of maybe five or ten minutes uh, to uh, put this all together and have it ready to, to be plugged in this morning uh, looks like we're we're bubbling away and things are getting really good in there and the smell is killing me I, I'm, I'm just almost ready to break into that and eat it uh, and we'll see how that goes uh, when the time comes so there we have it for now okay so it's been well let's see it's uh, 317 so it's been about eight hours since I put my roast in this morning and the smell is incredible I do believe it's done the potatoes are soft and the carrots are cooked all the way through so it looks to me like it's time to eat I have the the uh, crock pot unplugged currently and uh, I'm getting ready to spoon up a dish or two here and uh, see how it goes uh, when I get it unpotted I will uh, show you the results okay well as you can see it looks like it has turned out very well the uh, meat is very tender uh, the potatoes are are done and so are the carrots uh, so uh, as much as I'd like to talk to you guys some more it's time to eat well I have to say it was delicious I was worried this morning that I was making too much but it was so good that did not seem to matter okay so I used uh, the crock pot for the first time and I have to say I was really very happy with the results. It cost me $32 uh, in a truck stop. You can get them at Walmart. I've seen them on Amazon. Uh, if you're traveling and you want to have a good meal when you're done, this is definitely a good way to go. It's uh, a Road Pro. It was easy to clean. My wife made sure that I got little bags to, to line it with, <coughs> excuse me, and it was delicious. The worst part about it was that I had to smell that cooking all day long, and it almost drove me crazy. But I hope you enjoyed this uh, little movie, and uh, you know, if you have questions, leave a comment. Uh, give me a like, maybe. Never know. Uh, I might do something else. Thanks. Bye.